Hi, I'm Dave Alrich. I'm a partner at the RBL Group and a professor at the University of Michigan. I want to talk to you today for a few minutes about the HR competence study. The HR field today is at a crossroads. Where does HR move to be successful in the future? It seems like we've been at a lot of crossroads. For 25 years, Wayne Brockbank, myself, and others have studied HR competencies. It's called the HR Competence Study. We've tried to figure out not what are the competencies of HR professionals, but what are the competencies of HR professionals that drive business results and that make HR professionals successful. Over the 25 years, we do a round of studies, and we've done six rounds, that help us identify the set of skills that HR people need to drive the business and to be seen as effective. This has been a tracking of the profession. In the 70s and 80s, when we started this study, we looked at being a business partner. We looked at integrating HR practices. We looked at managing change. In the last few years, we've tried to understand the HR practices that will shape what the business does. This is a big study. And every four or five years, we try to collect data from a lot of HR professionals and their associates in companies around the world. Our job in this study is to help HR at the crossroads know and do things that will help them as HR professionals build business value and help the HR profession move forward. As an HR professional, you want to answer a simple question. What do I have to do to help my business succeed and to be seen as successful? We are inviting you free of charge as an HR professional to say, could I fill out a survey with about 110 items? What do I know and do as an HR professional? Could my associates fill out a survey? And how does my knowledge affect the business and my ability to be a good HR professional? If you fill out the survey and if you get four associates or more, you will get a free feedback report. That report for you will tell you how you rank against a global data set. What are the skills I have and how do my skills match others? What do I need to know to be a better HR professional? We generally sell that service for about 200 to $250 US. We hope you'll fill out the survey, have your associates in HR and not in HR fill out the survey, and if you do so, you will get a report. You'll also be invited to a regional feedback session where you can hear about what it takes for HR to deliver more value as we go forward. As companies participate in this study, we hope each company will have a number of HR professionals. I think our rule of thumb is five or six who then have their associates fill out a survey about them. If the company has at least five HR professionals and their associates, your company will get a company report. You will be able to benchmark your company against the global standard of which HR competencies drive business performance and help HR deliver value or be successful. The companies that are participating in this, it's a freebie. We know a lot of companies want to improve the quality of their HR people. This study will help each person get a report and each company get a report about how they're doing against the standards of good HR professionals. We hope your company will participate. We've had this time and in the past, some companies put up to 20 or 30 or 40 HR professionals in the study. After a certain limit, we end up charging for that. But you can find out how your company does against the global standards of HR professionals. We look forward to working with your company. And in this study, we're getting some very detailed information about your company's financial, strategic, and organizational systems. We're learning in a granular way what you could do in your company for HR to drive more value. We are so grateful for the 19 or so regional partners who are helping us do this study. We believe that one of the premises of the future of HR at this crossroads we're facing is one, globalization. There is not one answer to HR. There is exceptional work going on in Southeast Asia, in Australia, in New Zealand, Throughout Asia, and Asia Pacific, in Singapore, in China, in India, there's exceptional work going on throughout Europe. EAPM has some incredibly good folks in Norway, in Europe, throughout Europe. There's exceptional work going on in Latin America. 
And that work is phenomenal in Brazil, in Venezuela, in Argentina. We are so grateful to have partners in all of those areas. As we've done this study, this global collaborative partnership will be able to say HR professionals as individuals, companies, and now regions will be able to determine what does it take for HR to be successful. As part of the agreement with Dave Krasinski and Mike Ulrich, the, the people who are leading this study, they have made a commitment that they will personally visit each region and share what's unique in that region. And so the regional association partners who are working with us will be able to help the members in their region know what skills it takes for HR to deliver business value and to be successful HR professionals. We are so grateful for our regional partners in America, in Canada, in Latin America, including Mexico, in Asia Pacific, including Australia, New Zealand, in, um, in the Mideast, some great partners in the Mideast, in Pakistan, in Saudi Arabia, some great partners throughout Europe. We are so grateful to each of you. And we hope that the regional conferences you have will enable you to share with those members in your region what companies are doing, what individuals are doing, and ultimately what the HR profession needs to do. HR is at a crossroads. This research will determine where we go next. We've listened to your regions. We've looked at being a business partner. We've looked at knowing the business. We've looked at personal credibility. In this study, we're going to look a little more closely at managing information. How does HR manage predictive analytics, data analytics, cloud information? We're going to look a little more closely at HR and culture and organization and capability. How do we put people together to be successful? We're going to look much more granular at the HR practices within a specific business based on your strategy and your specific goals. We are so grateful you're joining us in this study and we look forward to working with you as we go forward. It's a great time to be in HR. Thanks for your participation.